this video we will design an edge infinity controller for DC servo motor. Firstly, I would like to explain that what are the designing steps for edge infinity controller. We design edge infinity controller with both MATLAB script as well as MATLAB Simulink. Uh, with MATLAB script, we find an edge controller's transfer function and we uh, applied it to the Simulink model. Which, is, which has a closed loop classic feedback control system. So, firstly, we'll find the controller transfer function using uh, these steps. And so, first step is to obtain the plant's transfer function and get the system matrices of MATLAB that, that we need to have a plant's transfer function and we need to moderate it to into a state space. Uh, second is to choose the weight function that is sensitivity and complementary. Uh, weight functions because uh, the whole plant's uh, stability is dependent on them. So, uh, depending upon the stability, performance, and robustness criteria, these weights has has to be chosen very chosen very wisely. Next is uh, we have to uh, incorporate both these weight functions and transfer function into a plant which is called as augmented plant, and we do this using an OCTF MATLAB function. Uh, which has uh, both weight functions as well as plant's transfer function. Now we perform the edge infinity synthesis on this plant uh, with using an edge inf function of robust control toolbox. Then we uh, find the controller, uh, controller K suppose, then it is in a state space form so, so we have to convert it into a transfer function and then we applied it directly to the MATLAB simulink part. So this is how an edge infinity controller can be designed for not only for this system, we have, we can design this uh, using this approach uh, use, uh, to design any plant's uh, edge infinity controller and get the desired output. So for this uh, video, we have taken example of DC servo motor which has transfer function like this, that is GS, that is 0 0.027 upon S square plus 0.00997S. 0.01326. So next is sensitivity function which is chosen here as WS and complementary sensitivity weight function that is WT is chosen here this. Now this, uh, these, sen uh, these both functions are uh, and the plant transfer function is taken from uh, this, this paper which is the design of H infinity robust control for DC servo motor system. Uh, this, uh, uh, paper is there for designing uh, to find the best fit model for the transfer function of DC servo motor which is this that I've already shown and uh, similarly the approach that we have there they have used for uh, finding out the weight function is also there and the next step response for the uh, DC closed loop plant is all, all given and the, uh, after the edge infinity synthesis the controller uh, transfer function is all, all also uh, shown here. So now we will model this system into uh, uh, using MATLAB script. So firstly, so, uh, firstly we have to take it as CLC uh, to clear all the commands to clear. Now we have to take clear all to clear clear all the workspace variables. Then we have to model the plant's transfer function so we will use a uh, numerator here that is numerator equals to uh, we have 0 0.027 then then we have denominator here as s square plus so one then it's S square plus 0 0.00997, 0 0.00997S plus 0.01326 here. So now that we have got the plants numerator and denominator, now we will uh, now we will make this transfer function into state space modeling using TF2SS command, which is a comma b comma c comma d that, that are state space matrices 
that is equal to tf to ss and numerator or one denominator this is how the state space matrices are now formed then we will make these matrices as a, as a state space model using suppose uh, this is h uh, or we can say it as g plan that is state space model equals to ss of these matrices that is a b c and finally d now that we have found the state space model next step is to uh, have the uh, weight functions which are w s equals to uh, for that what we'll do we'll create an s variable that is transfer function so that we can write uh, transfer function easily now that we have this we'll have we'll design the ws that is that is given here as 0.5s so 0.5 into s plus 0.015 divided by s plus 0.00015 so now that we have find the sensitivity uh, now we have uh, accumulated the sensitive sensitivity weight function we'll go to the complementary uh, sensitivity sensitivity function which is w t equals to s plus 100 s plus 100 divided by s plus 200 so now we'll take another function that we leave it as blank because we have to pass three weight functions in the command of uh, augmented for augmented plant so now we will mo uh, model the augmented plant that is p equals to a g t f for augmented plant and will pass our state space model that is g weight from all the weight function w s comma w t comma w u so now that we have made the augmented plant we'll go uh, we'll process the h infinity control so for that we'll suppose take s k and h in sin and p comma one comma one because it is a single input single output then we will because it is in state space form so we have to convert into uh, into transfer function so we have got the uh, we have written the whole code and now we have run it so we have the clear uh, we have made the plants model then we have uh, curated into state space then we have uh, the weights function then we have created an augmented plant then we have processed the uh, h infinity control sentences on this plant then we have found the controller and then finally we have the controller's transfer function now what we'll do is uh, we'll pass this controller's transfer function into the simulink model using an lti system which i'll show uh, which i'll show when the results are out we have got the results uh, we'll see uh, once we'll see what is controller's transfer function so here we have got the controller's transfer function now we'll make a simulate model here using uh, to pass this uh, value first we'll take a source that is of constant type of 
first we'll take a source then we'll take an LTI system from controller toolbox control system toolbox we'll take an LTI system here okay uh, for the constant it's not there we have the source we have the LTI system we'll connect these uh, this is a basically a controller transfer function so we will pass here uh, our, the computed edge infinity controller transfer function here so then uh, which is k underscore tf from workspace variable which will be listed here okay then we will have a uh, transfer function plants transfer function which will can take it from continuous here is transfer function then we will have a scope for the output also we have to take a sum this we can't join because we have to create our feedback also so for that we will go into math operations we'll take a sum block here which will which we will have plus minus okay then we'll just connect these blocks And this is the classic control feedback system where we have edge infinity controller from the workspace. We have plant transfer function as 0.027 as square plus 0.00997 as plus 0.01326 here. Now that we have all the we will save this uh, simulant model this we can see that uh, we have uh, app we, there is no change in the scheme uh, unless there is only a controllers uh, transfer function which we have designed through edge infinity control synthesis now that we will run we have to run it for around 350 seconds because this servo, servo motor takes time to stabilize so we have run it around 50 seconds and the code is compiling right now so the compiling is done and we will see the output it is running so the, there is no error you can see it uh, so now uh, we'll see the output once and whether it is stabilizing in it or not so now we can see that the output has come and it is reaches to one that is our stabling point within uh, 200 seconds only and if we see it in the same uh, same research paper then it has all results this step response for one it's the same response that is this one so now that we have uh, all the uh, output in desired point we can say that an edge infinity controller is designed for a DC servo motor and uh, this is how an edge infinity controller can be designed for other plants also.